Jax hated spaceports. The smell of recycled air, the garish glow of neon signs, the ceaseless hum of engines that always seemed on the verge of exploding. He slipped a battered coin into the vending machine, watching the rust-flecked arm clank towards its selection. A lukewarm nutrient bar plopped into the bottom slot, and he grunted, unwrapping it with a practice twist. It might as well be cardboard, but it filled the void. A loudspeaker crackled above the din. Passengers for Transit Hub 58 now boarding. Jax finished the bar and tossed the wrapper toward a distant trash can. It missed, pathetically. He swore. Today was just shaping up to be another gem. He ambled towards the gate, his faded leather jacket creaking with each step. With his rumpled clothes and stubbled jaw, this bounty hunter was not much of a looker. But the other travelers gave him a wide berth. They read the grim set of his shoulders, the cold fire in his hazel eyes, and how his fingers kept twitching towards the blaster holstered at his hip. A human in a spaceport full of aliens was like a shark circling a school of minnows. The boarding tunnel reeked of ozone and disinfectant. Jack scanned the crowd, committing every bulbous head, every multi-limbed creature, every flutter of wings to memory. He wouldn't get paid if he didn't find his mark. His quarry was a Zelarian embezzler, a slimy bureaucrat who'd siphoned off enough credits to retire on a private moon. Probably blended into the crowd of suited business beings, another briefcase in a mass of pincers and kittenous limbs. Typical. Jax reached the end of the line when a voice cut through the murmurs like a whip crack. Human! Disgusting, fleshy, mammalian thing! A knot of insectoid Zithraki recoiled. In the center of the commotion, a young human woman glared at them, her face flushed with fury. Three security drones were converging on her, their lights strobing ominously. Jack sighed. Humans, even on their best days, were damn magnets for trouble. The security drones closed the distance, their monotone voices echoing in the enclosed space. Cease disruptive behavior. Comply or force will be authorized. The woman seemed to shrink briefly, but drew herself to her full, unimpressive height. Force? Because I asked them to back off? They were crowding me. The lead drone hovered closer. Its cold optics swept over her, the faint whir of internal calculations audible even over the hubbub. Zithraki are a high-sensitivity species. Physical contact is culturally taboo. Maintain distance. That's their problem, not mine. Sparks flew from her eyes. Don't they teach common courtesy on whatever mud hole they wriggled out of? Jax was already walking towards the commotion. Some days, neutrality wasn't worth the hassle. He reached the woman as the drones began to close their pincers. This ain't worth it, he rumbled. His voice carried a weight that even the drones paused to acknowledge. Come on, kid. Let's find you a quieter spot. She hesitated, then a flicker of relief passed over her face. Jax? He blinked. You know me? They talk about you, she said, her voice lower now. You're the only human bounty hunter crazy enough to take on alien contracts. Some kind of legend. Jax grunted. Legends didn't fill empty stomachs. Look, the drones mean business. I'll smooth things over. Then you and I can grab a drink. A lie, of course, but getting her out of this mess was preferable to a spaceport brawl. He gestured to the drones, feigning familiarity. My apologies, just a misunderstanding. My associate here was feeling penned in. This was her first time off-world. You know how it is. The drones buzzed in consultation, then, with excruciating slowness, powered down their weapons. A warning flashed. Behavior logged. Further violations will result in detainment. Sure, sure, Jack said with a false cheer. Then, before the woman could protest, he ushered her down a side corridor. Once a safe distance away, Jax let out a long breath. All right, what's your story? Most humans with half a brain know to keep their heads down round here. The young woman finally smiled, a mischievous glint in her eyes. Name's Callie. 
and I might be in a bit over my head. She pulled back her sleeve, revealing an intricate cybernetic gauntlet. Tendrils of wire and metal pulsed beneath her skin, connecting the device to her arm. I stole this, she declared. It was from a weapons lab, Zalarian tech, cutting edge. A thrill ran through her voice. I saw it and knew I had to have it. Jack stared. That kind of recklessness struck an uncomfortable chord in him. He was no stranger to some illegal activity, but this was next level. Kid, you do realize... Yes, I know. The Xylarians, they'll come after me, but I have a plan. She grinned, and suddenly he saw that spark again. It wasn't just recklessness, more like ambition, a fire barely banked. I need a ship. I need a pilot. Someone who knows the back channels and owes no allegiance to anyone. Her eyes fixed on him with unexpected intensity. Jax, help me vanish. That old, familiar itch stirred within him. He'd long ago abandoned the thrill of the chase, hunting down targets, haggling over prices. It was a living, not a life. Yet, here stood this fool girl, so full of defiance and misplaced hope, and she'd lit something in him he hadn't felt in years. It'll cost you, he said gruffly, and odds are your little gamble ain't gonna end the way you want. But Callie just laughed, that bright brazen sound defiant in the dim confines of the spaceport. Oh, I don't want things to end, she declared. I want them to begin. The text she harbored was priceless and would fetch an obscene amount of credits on the black market. So the deal was as simple as it was dangerous. Jax would help Callie outrun the inevitable Zylarian pursuit in exchange for enough credits to help Jax disappear for a long time as well. Call it early retirement. His battered ship, christened Hellbound, was docked several levels down. It was grimy, barely functioning, and hopefully discreet enough to avoid drawing unwanted attention. Getting there would be the problem. Within the hour, the spaceport would be swarming with Solarian agents, all searching for the thief of their precious tech. We'll have to think like bounty hunters, he said, a plan taking shape in his head. They'll expect you to run, so we play into that. Callie's grin widened. Misdirection, huh? I like it. He led her to a disreputable-looking shop called Xeno Curios and Antiquities. Inside, it smelled of dust and alien incense. The shelves were crammed with bizarre artifacts, a petrified Cregan brood sack, a stuffed two-headed Vorcanian parrot, and a gleaming suit of segmented armor Jax couldn't even identify. They purchased the armor, a grotesque mask with multiple eye stalks, and a beat-up hover cart for an obscene amount of credits. They even added an elaborate feathered headdress just for kicks. They're looking for a human female, Jax explained as they squeezed into the hover cart. Not some bug-eyed monstrosity. Disguised with the hideous mask, Callie looked more like an intergalactic nightmare than a young woman. She even practiced mimicking the high-pitched clicking sounds Zithraki used to communicate. With Jax piloting the hover cart and weaving recklessly through the crowds, they created a scene of absolute chaos. Callie's security alert was frantic when they reached the docking bay. Security had their hands full. Nobody questioned the unsteady, bug-eyed creature and its surly human companion making a beeline for a rust-bucket freighter. The hellhound coughed and sputtered into life, a testament to Jax's dubious mechanical skills. Alarms blared behind them as the docking bay doors slid open. Zalarian security ships would be in pursuit within minutes. Punch it! Callie yelled, her eyes wild with excitement. Jack slammed his fist onto the control panel, jamming through the antiquated systems. With a final lurch, the hellhound shot out of the bay, disappearing into the sprawling network of transport lanes. A glance at the scanners showed the first Zalarian ships entering the fray. They were sleek, armed to the teeth, and would overtake the hellhound quickly. Jack swore and threw them into a dive, swerving toward a tangle of debris. 
the remains of some ill-fated mining installation. Hang on, kid, he grunted. This is gonna get rough. The hellhound weaved through the metal skeletons, narrowly dodging beams and struts. The old girl groaned in protest, but Jax pushed her to her limits. Callie's laughter bounced around the cramped cockpit, echoing above the howl of the engines. The risk, the adrenaline. He was starting to understand the girl's wild heart. Sensors lit up as a Zalarian ship locked onto their tail. A warning blare split the air as the first laser blast scorched the hellhound's hull. Time for plan B, Jack said grimly. He pulled a lever and a section of the floor retracted. Beneath was a battered escape pod. Get in there. Callie's grin faded, replaced by uncertainty. What about you? Someone needs to give him the slip. He gestured towards the pod. Now go. That gauntlet you boosted. Maybe something in there will help you disappear for real. Protesting was useless. Jax wasn't the sentimental type. He shoved her into the pod, sealed the hatch, and slammed the eject button. The pod hurtled away as the hellhound shuddered under another barrage. Jax turned the old ship around, ready for one last defiant stand. He wasn't afraid of dying, but he'd be damned if he was going to make it easy for those Zalarian bastards. The hellhound blazed with defiance as Jax steered it straight into the heart of the Zalarian pursuit. Laser fire lashed out, tearing through the aged armor and rattling the ship to its core. He danced between blasts, firing back with surprising accuracy, even taking out one of their smaller cruisers in a blinding explosion of light and twisted metal. Alarms shrieked as vital systems began to fail. The engines sputtered and died, plunging the ship into darkness. Jax gripped the controls, willing the old girl to give him one last burst. In the distance, the Zalarian vessels were closing in, ready to deliver the killing blow. He thought of Callie, hurtling away in that rickety pod, the stolen gauntlet tucked close. That girl was like a dying star, burning too brightly to last, but illuminating everything in her path. She'd be all right, he thought. His fingers grazed the blaster at his side, a final easy escape. Then he thought better of it. A bounty hunter to the end, he figured those Zalarians owed him a proper death, messy, noisy, and just a little bit legendary. The first boarding pods crunched into the Hellhound's hull. Jack surged to his feet, a primal roar tearing from his throat. He was a cornered animal, a flash of human fury in a galaxy of cold calculation. And damn if he wasn't going to give them one hell of a show. Hey, space travelers. Thanks for blasting off with Rocket Ship Radio. We hope you enjoyed this story of Jax and Callie. If you're ready to dive deeper into the rabbit hole of our amazing sci-fi stories, click the next video and prepare yourself for another adventure. If you want to help us out, please hit the like button, subscribe, and activate that notification bell so you never miss an interstellar transmission. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Tell us what kind of sci-fi tales you want to explore in the future. And as always, safe travels, adventurer.